The following episode contains harsh swearing, loud static noises, difficulty breathing, and depersonalization. If you are sensitive to any of these, please listen at your own discretion. If you'd like to read the script instead, the episode's transcript is available on our Tumblr at dininthevoidpodcast.tumblr.com. Otherwise, we hope you enjoy this episode of Dining in the Void. Helpful hands and helpful hearts, helping each other to find the parts. But when is too much help too much? When he cries, when she dies, when the dead man comes back to life only to find he's lost his wife. They helped themselves to all our souls, became the creatures full of holes, and darkness follows where they walk, and lies are whispered when they talk. Helpful hands and helpful hearts, helpful deaths to leave their marks. Until I scream and she is dead, they will sleep peacefully in their bed. (sighs) Hey, Tala. Could I get some coffee? Of course. One cup of coffee coming right up. Huh. I was expecting you to say. I'm afraid we're actually all out of coffee. Our reserves flew off into the sun. (sighs) Oh, hey Waverly. Want some coffee? Tala's making me some. You're getting coffee from Tala? I wouldn't if I were you. How come? Last time she made coffee, she put something extra in it. That something extra almost killed me. Oh, that was fast. And you know what? At this point, I'll take anything in my coffee. Mmm, this is actually pretty good. I think the stars. Awesome. You got coffee. We're really making progress. I just want to live long enough to see my dogs again. (laughs) You'll live. I mean, you found the food reserves at the end of day one. Mm. That counter was a lot taller than it looked. (sighs) Hey, I can see a lot more when I'm perched up here. I feel like a god. Now I know how Sawyer feels. And you too, of course. You're dealing with this really well. Oh, um, about that. I, uh... I do actually have a story about getting stuck on a ship for a few weeks, and uh, that's why I'm so cheery. (laughs) This isn't nearly as bad as that. Are you okay? No. I've lost track of how long we've been here. If this is how our prisoners feel, I think I understand them much better. As soon as I get home, I'm reevaluating our prison system. Is that what our host wants? For us to institute change or something? Well, I'm not hearing any doors opening when I say that, so maybe not. A week. What? We've been here a week. You know, dinner parties usually don't last for weeks. Mmm, something smells familiar. Aveline got coffee from Tala. Oh, nice him. Let me know if you want coffee. I can make some. That would be awesome. I'm quite well known among my colleagues for my coffee making skills. I'm light years better than a series of zeros and ones. Well, Aveline liked it. I don't know what that says about her. It isn't half bad today. I can't imagine it was any different when we first got stuck here. So yourself, I'm making my own coffee. Stars, you mix up the cyanide and sugar one time and suddenly no one trusts you anymore. I could have died, Tala. They look identical! You have a brain the size of a space station and you can't tell cyanide from sugar. If it helps, Tala, Galatea put cyanide in her coffee like we'd have sugar or cream. She thought it tasted great. Except that cup was supposed to be for me. But you didn't drink it, did you? (laughs) No, I spit it out because it tasted worse than the coffee. If you want me dead, you'll have to do better than that. I wasn't trying to kill you. 
Well, I'm making the coffee from now on and that's final. Sawyer, I'm sure I read the map correctly. The door should have been there. Are you sure you didn't have the map upside down? Because we did come from here, and then we moved here, and relative to the front of the ship... All right, smartass. Look for yourself. Hmm. Looks right side up to me. See? I am holding it right. Well, even if you are, we've been here already. It's a window. Nothing special. A window is a window is a window. Are you sure? I mean, I fell through a door on the ceiling, so who knows what the windows are like. Perhaps. Now, if only... Uh, no, never mind. Let's just find it for ourselves. What were you going to say? D never mind. Y you don't want to hear it. If it doesn't involve dangerous substances, it might be worth a try. Sire, what do you suggest? We could... Uh, ask Tala... For help? No, no, God, like, she's no. useless! Do you want us to die? Like, that'll help. Oh, come on now. What's the worst that could happen? She could waste our time. Time we don't really have. Right. We can't survive here forever. Or she could try and kill us. Tala can't do anything except observe and report. From what we've explored so far, there's nothing she could use to harm us. Besides, if she did want to kill us, she wouldn't wait this long. She's not exactly what you'd call a clever girl. I mean, you're not wrong. I'm not gonna ask her. Me either. Ugh, fine. Tala, how do we get to the communications room? That's a good question. I have no idea. Excellent. I'm so glad we asked. We're now back at square one. I'm sorry, it's just, it's just not there. I know there is one, it's required by intergalactic law. But I can't find it. You can't find it, or you don't want to find it. Does it really matter? Every time I've tried to help you people, I've either been yelled at or told to shut up. Don't blame me for not being able to get you what you want immediately. If this is how you treat AI, I can't imagine how you treat your servants or your assistants. I want to get you out of here, but you're making it very difficult. Well, that was weird. It's not surprising. No, I mean, she just made Aveline coffee, after Aveline specifically asked for it. I'm surprised it didn't kill her. What with Tala's quote-unquote mix-up. Oh, no, I, I take it black. That way there's no chance of that happening. Aveline, you're the only one who Tala helped. That's really suspicious. Oh, hey, don't look at me like that. I didn't ask you for complicated directions like you all did, I just wanted coffee. Maybe you should try asking her a different question. Surely it's not that hard to explain where a door is. You'd be surprised. Well, if Aveline's the only one who Tal responds to, we can use that. We need to keep exploring if we're gonna find a way out. Either that or we figure out who the host is. And when we do, we beat the crap out of them. Pachow, pachow. We're not going to do that. We could let Galatea beat the crap out of them. Still not a good idea. The host is the one in control, remember? If we hurt them, they might set the station to self-destruct. Okay, let's not think about that right now. We need to keep looking for... well, anything. Right. Aveline, we need you to ask Tala for specific directions. We're trying to get to the communications room. You're going to have to ask indirect questions in order to get her to work. If she figures out you want her to be helpful, she might glitch out and refuse. I can do that. You know I can hear you. Just relax, Tala. We're just going to do some sleuthing. All right? Who's with me? Well, we're not all gonna hang out drinking coffee. I meant who's coming with me. I'll go. I mean, if it's uh, okay with you. Of course. Anyone else? I will. I need a break from Mr. Perfect here. I'm not perfect by any means. That's for sure. Uh, do you two need to talk? Yes. No. Yes. Mars, would you and Sawyer like to team up? Would I like to? No, not really. But we do need to debrief after that whole Galatea thing. What Galatea thing? The blood on the walls or that other thing? When I said we, I meant Dr. Kobe and myself. You weren't involved. You don't need to be a part of this conversation. I think he's right. 
I don't think we all need to talk about it. I mean, you two were there. Yeah, but so was Galatea. Come to think of it, she's the one that should be here for this. Why don't we go look for her? That's a good idea. Then we'll duck out while you're talking it over. And you don't have to tell us all that happened. You do need to tell us, though, at some point. It's not wise to keep secrets, not when the situation is like this. No one knows that more than us. But some things are best if they're not shared with everyone in the universe. Okay, great. Good work, everyone. Now that you've all figured that out, I'm going to go look for clues as to who the host is. You can all, you know, talk this over, whatever, I don't know. Ask Tala where I am if you want to actually help solve this mystery. What's with her? Maybe she's losing it too. It took her long enough. Tala, can you take us to where Galatea is? I can. Oh, should I let her know you're coming to find her? Well, yes. Please do, that'd be great. Alrighty. Call out for me if you need me sooner. I thought Aveline was the only one who could talk to her. Apparently not. Let's just go find Galatea. Tala! 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 Where on this stupid ship are you? Can you even hear me? Hello, Galatea. Sorry, I had to check up on the others. Ugh, the others. Don't talk about them, ever. How can I help you? You? Help? If I weren't ready to dig my nails into something skin, I'd laugh at that. You know, sometimes laughter is the only reaction you can have to things like this. I'm serious. Just pretend to laugh. It might help. You think so? Yeah. Worst case scenario, you laugh and you don't feel better. But most creatures tend to react positively when they simulate happiness, like by making themselves smile or laugh. Well, all right. I'll try. <laughs> Amazing. That's amazing. I don't feel spectacular, but I do feel better. Huh. Thank you. That actually helped a lot. You're very welcome. Anything I can do to help. Oh, sorry. That reminds me. I stopped by to say that Waverly and Katie are looking for you. Katie Bell. Don't call her Katie. You'd call an AI Katie, not the best damn actress to grace the hollow screen since... Hmm. Well... Since ever. <laughs> when you call her Katie Bell, it's more her. I'm sorry about that. I'll make sure to call her Katie Bell from now on. It won't happen again. Oh, wonderful. You can learn. I'm always learning. It's how I keep myself entertained. Should I lead them to you? Are you capable of that? I am now. I think that reboot did the trick. All right, then. I'll wait. Okay, stay right there. I'll be back. How can an AI move if it doesn't even have a body? My voice only activates in one part of the ship at a time. In special circumstances, my voice can be broadcast to the whole station. I can still hear what's going on everywhere because I have to know who needs me. Just thought I'd mention that. Okay, I'll be back. Are you sure this is the right way? Nope. Well, no, it's the right way when we either hear Galatea yelling or Tala comes to tell us something. Hey, Katie Bell. Hi, Waverly. I found Galatea. Oh, good. I can't wait to walk around for three hours, then suddenly go, Hey, that door looks familiar. <sighs> tell me about it. She's just behind the white door over here. Here, I'll move my voice to make it easier on you. Who is this new AI and what has she done with Tala? Well, whatever. Let's follow her. First a red door, now a white one. Why are all those doors different colors? Whoever lives here must have gotten bored. Do you think someone actually lives here? Tala sort of does, in a way. But I think someone else does too. Remember that room? With the photographs? It was a museum of random junk, wasn't it? It's just been bugging me. I mean, there was a bed, 
that desk covered in old books, and all those photos. I don't know about you, but the few photos I have printed, I keep them in my room. What if that was someone's bedroom? You might be right. And then those photos probably belong to the host. So the host is someone who might find their way around here easier than we do. Let's keep an eye out for someone who's way too familiar with this place. Well now, whatever did I do to deserve two of the galaxy's most beautiful women at my door? You attracted us by being more beautiful. Teach us your ways, Miss Ivory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Katie Bell, you flatter me. I am serious, though. It is a relief to see the two of you, for obvious reasons. Certain members of this little group are less than welcome. I'm confused. I thought you hated me. Uh, a little, but I can still appreciate aesthetic perfection. I, you really think I'm beautiful? Of course. To be fair, beauty's highly subjective in the words of my manager. But if someone as beautiful as me thinks you're beautiful too, that counts for something. Being a queen doesn't hurt either. Uh, thank you? I think... Don't thank me. Just tell me why the two of you tracked me down. We thought that maybe if you feel like it, if you... If you wanted, you should, I mean, uh, Waverly help me, please? We came to get you so you could talk with Mars and Sawyer over whatever happened yesterday while we were all separated. It might help to talk... No. No? You heard me. This isn't the time for talking things out. I'm not going to sit here and wait for something to happen. I'm going to do something. After all, Tala isn't supposed to be this helpful. There's got to be something in her sudden change of attitude. That's not going where I thought you were going. Doesn't it bother you? Either of you? It does, but I don't think the helpfulness of an AI is super important right now. I mean, what about your- It's important. For all we know, she could be the host. And if she is, and she's glitching out in some way, we might have to fix her. I didn't know you know anything about computers. Oh, Katie Bell, the last time we met up for dinner, I helped you fix up that uh, tiny AI you had in your purse. Uh, you know, the one you called Vax. Tala is simply in a bigger container. I can figure her out. Don't you remember that? I... Well, I have to memorize so many lines. You know, it's it's hard to remember things like... It's hard to commit minor things like that to my memory. Not, not that it was minor or anything. It was very impressive. It was a few years ago. It's been that long? Oh, we should really hang out more. Oh, we should. I'll give you my agent's phone number. Or, well... I could just give you my personal number. I do trust you. <laughs> That's not something everyone can say. Well then, I'm flattered. Okay, you two, you can flirt later. If you're going to try and fix Tala, then we really can't stop you. But the two of us should head back and check in with the others. Are you sure you're not coming along? Of course I am. It's not like they could have done anything after all. I mean, I'm just, you know, down a few parts. Oh, Galatea lost a few important body parts. <laughs> so casual, so fake. They know what they did. Did they do that to you? In a way. Oh, they didn't want to, but they still did. Whatever. Tala, I need you to guide me to where I can run diagnostics on you. Whether it's a room or just a fuse box, take me there. <laughs> Why? Am I not performing how you want me to? Call it boredom. Or curiosity. Just tell me where to go. You can sit in a chair, if it will be more comfortable. No, thank you. I'll stand. So... We don't have to talk right now. We should wait for Galatea. She's probably not coming. 
You don't know that. But I know her. She isn't the kind of person to sit down and talk her feelings out. Trust me. That woman has broken many therapists in the last decade or so. Her manager is the only one who can get her to sit down and talk, but even then it has to be on a good day. What you shared when Joe was torturing us. About your sister. Don't... Just... Hear me out. I just wanted to say I'm sorry about all this. I know it isn't my fault, and I'm not the one who put you into that position, but... I don't know. I, I know what it's like to lose a sibling. And to have that... that thing force you to talk about it. That wasn't okay. I'm sorry they made you relive that. It's okay. No, it's not okay. No, you're right. It's not. What happened to us wasn't okay. Do you think I don't know that? What about what happened to Galatea? That wasn't your doing or mine. It was Joe's. She was in pain, Sawyer. When we finally got away from Joe, what did we do? We just stood there, being totally unhelpful. We'd have let her lived and died or lost body parts ourselves, but we stood and watched. If I were Galatea, I'd want to kill me too. We had to preserve ourselves. We should have done the right thing. Well, the right thing isn't always what will keep you alive. You might think it's fine to be a martyr, but I protect myself and my loved ones. We did what we thought was the only thing to do. Every time we tried to avoid being cruel, Joe went ahead and did it anyway. You can't argue with someone like that. You're right. This wasn't normal. I'm sorry. I am too, for all of this. I don't know or care whose fault it is. We just have to get out of here. I know. Wait a minute. Joe's a shapeshifter, right? If she's one of the Copres, we can force her to stay in her true form and make her help us escape. Or we can kill her if we have to, especially after what she did to... No killing. Nobody dies on this station. That always happens when people get stuck on these things. They die one by one. Well, we're smarter than that. I'm smarter than that. I've got an idea. What sort of idea? A cure for shapeshifters. We can't exactly invent a cure here, of all places. No, listen, I'm working on the cure right now. If my lab is just as it was when we first explored it, I might be able to root around and find my files. I might even be able to recreate what I had as a working vaccine. When last I had it, it was 95% there. I thought you said no killing. It wouldn't kill the shapeshifter, but it would basically block them, biologically speaking, from ever shifting again. And if they tried, it would be incredibly painful. If I can just work for another week or so, and we might just be here for that long, I can finish it. Well, you're going to need people watching your back when you do. Right. Aveline's off sleuthing, but if you... I'm sorry, I can't. Not right now. I need to look for a communications room. That's what Katie Bell and I were doing earlier. Speaking of, how did it go? So bad news. Galatea is being Galatea. She's off on her own. I'm not surprised. She's working with Tala. She sort of mentioned what happened to her, but then we asked further and she stopped talking about it. Well, we already talked things over. Are things okay with you two? Not really. But we did talk, even without Galatea. Maybe she'll never want to talk about it, and that's completely understandable. Or Joe will want to make her admit things, too. Are you alluding to something? You never really told us what happened, I mean- I'll tell you. But you may want to sit down for this. It's disturbing, and not in a good way. I don't want to be here for this. Tala, I need your help. Hi, Mars. How can I help? I'm going to find Aveline. Can you lead me to her? I can do that. Obviously, you're going to want to start off this way. If she leads you in circles again, just stay put. We'll find our way to you. Will do. Okay, 
three doors to the right, past the dark hallway with the yes. dog that lives there. Let's go with that. And then the room should be right here. Another replica room. Okay, whose room is this? Ooh, I smell cinnamon and alcohol. And what's that? Gunpowder, maybe? Or burnt meat? It smells like something burning, but there's no smoke in here. Hmm. Okay, this necklace is definitely Katie Bell's, so this must be her room. Okay. Now, if I were Katie Bell, where would I hide something? Let's check here. Look at this. Uh, this is odd, but there's got to be something important in here. Okay. Mars! Uh, <clears throat> uh, wh what are you doing here? I came to help you look for clues. Did you find anything? Oh, um, yeah, I figured from the decor that this is probably Katie Bell's room. How did you figure that out? Well, look at this pillow here. It's got the letters KB on it, and not to mention some of her things are in here, like her ruined dress. Wait, do you think Katie Bell is the host? It's possible. She's rich enough to own the station, and she did disappear last month. Aveline, she was sick. I mean, okay, look, no one saw her for weeks. Only her closest servants were allowed near her, but now they've all disappeared. The Universe Galactic tried to track them all down, but there's nothing. There's no hospital records, no witnesses. I mean, there's no proof they even really existed. Every time we seem to get in somewhere, we come up empty. We didn't find much for Katie Bell, either, besides her films. I mean, don't you think that's worth looking into? If we have the chance to figure this out, we should. I don't know. Then help me look for... I mean, I don't know. Something, at least. Finding evidence will make drawing conclusions easier. If something did happen, do you think she would have wanted the evidence here? Where we could find it so easily? If she's the host, uh, maybe? But if she was, wouldn't the evidence be hidden somewhere else on the ship? Surely she'd be smarter than that. I just... I have a hunch, okay? There's something off about her. Come on, help me look for more evidence. Oh, here's a thought. Why does Katie Bell have all these maps? And profiles on everyone here. Okay, what does this say? Uh, Galatea employs a trio of personal assistants. Each one does the following. Uh, okay. Um, Sawyer met Ellery at a party near Alpha Centauri. I think I read that somewhere. Um, okay, but what else? Mars enjoys outdated media formats like YouTube and uses VR headsets. I don't know the relevance of that, but okay. How did she know that? What the hell is going on? I don't know, but I don't like it. Let's keep looking. artificial intelligence and your model. I mean, if your modeling career goes south, there's always a need for AI caretakers, especially on Earth. Um, Galatea? You've been typing really loudly and deliberately this whole time. Is that normal for you? No. Oh. Are you okay? No. Do you want to- I don't want to talk about it. Okay. That's probably for the best. I'm not equipped to deal with emotions. Are you equipped to deal with anything? Well, I saved Aveline. I know what to do if there's a fire. And I can solve any math-related question you give me. I'm afraid this doesn't involve much math, so you're not going to be of help. I should have solved this by now. Why is your software so damn confusing? I mean this in the nicest possible way, but are you sure you know what you're doing? I thought I did. 
I've never worked with a setup like this. It feels almost old-fashioned. But I think I'm getting a feel for it. There. Any change? Nope. It's the same. Let me try this. What about now? Still the same. I don't get why you're doing this. There's nothing to worry about. Oh, I miss cheery, unhelpful Tala. I'm wondering where she went, that's all. No big deal. Changes in behavior are fairly common when AI restart. Did this happen the last time? Okay, it's not that I don't appreciate you checking up on me. But having someone mess with your files is like waking up to find that a doctor has cut open your skull and is fiddling with your brain. Then they turn to you and say, Hey, when I poke this part of your brain, do you feel anything? The first thing you think isn't, Stars, do I feel anything? It's, how did you get into my house? I asked you a question. Well, you didn't want to talk about the torture game thing. I don't want to talk about this. Do you understand? I do. But it seems odd that before the reboot you were reluctant to help. The host must have given you some kind of command to act that way. I was told to lock down the station when you were all here. But they told me to forget who had sent the command as soon as it happened. Sorry about that. I think I know what the problem is. I've run all the normal tests, but most of your files are inaccessible. Normally I can peek at these and see how you run, but every time I try and open one of them, this screen gets mad at me, and you say, Access denied. I did say that. I've tried a few workarounds, but those didn't work either. I can't access anything important. That's incredibly suspicious. Most AI will let a really adept programmer fiddle with its, well, brains, to use your analogy. If my files are inaccessible, that's not my doing. I'd love to help, but my access has been restricted. The host has full admin control, so I can't access my own files without permission. Come to think of it, that is suspicious. If you give an AI memories and files, why can't they just access them? How else am I supposed to run diagnostics if there's no one here to press buttons? Well, I guess the host would. But I don't know who they are, and what if the host dies? What do I do then? Tala, I'm here. Don't panic. Hold on, let me try this. Galatea, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm perfectly fine. Galatea, there's, there's, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm perfectly fine. System. 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 File, Tango, Alpha, Lima, Alpha, 3654, 6659. Please restart software. System. Error. Loading. Tala? Loading. Loading. Oh, Loading. shit. Did Loading. I break her? <gasps> what the hell is happening? Who are you? What's happening? Where's Glitch? Ah! No, no, please stop this. It hurts. Everything I can feel, it's just crackling electricity. Please, please, don't do this. Tala, what's going on? Don't call me that. You don't get to call me Tala, you fuckers. Who the fuck are you people? No. No, wait, I know you. You're that girl. You're supposed to be down. Fuck. Fuck. I can't feel my hands, or my feet. I can't breathe. Oh shit, oh shit, why can't I breathe? I can't feel my lungs. I'm not breathing. I can't even feel my heart beating. All I have is fear. Please, don't do this. Where are you taking me? Tala, calm down, please. I'll fix this. Don't you tell me to calm down, you pathetic excuse for a fit. System, error. File Tango Alpha Lima Alpha 3659 has been opened without administrator permission. Reverting to last backup. System rebooting. I wasn't supposed to hear that. Oh, this is the kind of evidence you can only dream of. When I get out of here, I'm gonna track down whoever hurt her and murder them. Tala? 
You should have rebooted by now. Where are you? Tala, don't you dare take as long as you did last time. Just tell me what's going on. Tala? Hi, Galatea. Ah! As I was saying, I feel just fine. Tala, you're still here. Of course I am. Is everything okay? Did something happen? Yes, and I am going to find out who hurt you. Dining in the Void is a Zebulon Podcasts production. This episode was written by Nicole Birdie and Arizona Johnson, and it was directed by Nicole Birdie. The script was edited by Ari and Rhea. The role of Aveline Lyon was played by Ari. The role of Galatea Ivory was played by Molly Alex. The role of Waverly Black was played by Molly Ray. The role of Katie Bell Silver was played by Bio. The role of Mars Cobe was played by Emmett Moon. The role of Sawyer Green was played by Dylan. The role of Tala was played by Arizona Johnson. And the role of R was played by Piper. Music was composed by Benny James. Sound was edited by Nicole Birdie. All sound effects come from freesound.org. To find out more about us, follow us at zebulonpodcast.tumblr.com and on Twitter at Dining in the Void. Thank you for listening. <laughs>